Over the past few years, residents of Maribo say that they have been experiencing serious issues they claim are caused by a nearby quarry that has affected their health and the health of their children. They also claim that the operation of the quarry plant made their road condition worse. This resident who lives closest to the plant says her daughter suffers from asthma. Breathing problem, that is my problem. Because I have a child with sinus and sometimes she, she can find it difficult to breathe. She can't stay inside here, she has to come out with the air more fresh so she could breathe, breathe properly. I see red effect. Sometimes they on the quarry and you welding thing and the scent from the from the um the metal like it was time for you again. You can't breathe. Sometimes holy nice, 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 nice. You can you can even hear your phony featurings. The high breeze that passing and now that we're in dry season, we uh we coughing a lot and we have like persons in the house that have asthma and stuff, so like it raising a lot. So and it also causing like breathing problems, like chest problems and stuff. Well, causing a lot of like mosquito and rats because you have a lot of old stuff on the quarry that's attracting them. Yeah. You had persons that used to plant on the quarry, they couldn't plant on the quarry again because he destroyed it. And it was like a good place because sometimes the SSU used to come here and camp where they can camp again. The plant is government owned but leased to an individual in the parish to operate. Another resident says despite numerous complaints to the operator, nothing has been done. She claims that trucks coming through the area will often break pipes that supply water to their homes. Concerning the dust, number one, I'm a farmer. He affected my crops. Also, I cannot open my windows. All inside my house, all my clothes. Everything's not cooking, all the pots. Yeah, all over, all over is dust, in the shop, all over, dust, dust. When, the, when, my, when you hear rain and the trucks are then passing in the street and my child had to go to school, she had to put on two black, black plastic bags and she foot to walk out the street. You know, and this is terrible. And then when they break down the quarry there, win, win, win for so. Because that, is, that was a little, a little, you know, barrication for us. I even tell, you, I even tell him, I said, there is a road in the bottom, you can... They ask him to fix the road down there and he, he refused to do it. We said down there the trucks had to pass. Okay? They, every single thing. I mean siding, the, the truck and them climbing, they break all on top by my shop, they, they break climbing the thing and breaking everything. And you tell him about it, just watch and he smile and he go. They are asking that something be done to deal with the issue affecting them as it is overbearing. GBN sought to get a comment from the operator of the plant, but was unable to do so as we could not reach him. We are also awaiting a response from government on the issue. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.